This is lab 16, muscles of the leg. As with our other muscle labs, there are six muscles that you're responsible to know one origin, one insertion, and one action, as well as identify the muscle using a model. Those six muscles are the gastrocnemius, the tibialis posterior, tibialis anterior, flexor digitorum longus, extensor digitorum, and fibularis longus. For all other muscles presented in this AV lecture, you're responsible to identify that muscle using a model and provide one action, one synergist, and one antagonist. Before we move into these muscles, let's get a sense of um, what they might be doing and where they might be just based on the name. So let's look at this second muscle here, tibialis posterior. Where do you think this muscle might be? Well, tibialis, this refers to the tibia, and posterior refers to behind. So this muscle is probably going to be behind the tibia. Likewise, tibialis anterior is going to be in front of the tibia. Flexor digitorum longus. What do you think this muscle might be doing? Well, it's going to flex something. What is it going to flex? It's going to flex the digits because of digitorum. And then also the extensor digitorum, likewise, is what is it going to do? It's going to extend something because it's an extensor. And what is it going to extend? Well, the digits, the toes. And then our last muscle here, fibularis longus. Fibularis refers to the fibula. So do you think this muscle is going to be a medial or lateral muscle in the leg? Well, because of fibularis, this muscle is probably going to be on the lateral side of the leg. So already, just based on the names of these muscles, we're already getting a sense of where they are going to be and what they're going to do. So let's get into it. Our first muscle is indicated by those that double arrow there, and it's the gastrocnemius. This is our calf muscle. This is a muscle that we're responsible to know origin, insertion, action, and the origin is the condyles of the femur, the insertion is the calcaneus, and the action is to plantar flex, which is, again, to stand up on your tippy toes, and also to flex the leg. And our second muscle indicated here is the soleus, and the soleus is going to be deep to the gastrocnemius, and the action of this is, again, to plantar flex the foot, so stand up on the tippy toes. If we remove the medial belly of the gastrocnemius, we expose some deep muscles in the leg. And the first here is the plantaris. The plantaris is a muscle that's going to flex the leg and also it is going to plantar flex the foot. Um, and this is a muscle that appears very small, relatively small in the leg. However, if we were to follow the tendon all the way down, it'd be this this relatively long tendon um, extending all the way into the foot. And this is how we're able to get um, both of these actions, leg flexion and plantar flexion. And the other muscle here is the popliteus, or popliteus. You might hear it pronounced that way as well. Um, and the action of this muscle is to also flex the leg. Now we're looking at um, medial leg muscles. And the muscle that we're going to focus on in this image is the flexor digitorum longus. This is a muscle that we're responsible to know origin, insertion, action. The origin is the posterior tibia. And the insertion is the distal phalanges 2 through 5. Now this makes sense because this is a flexor digitorum muscle, meaning it's going to flex the digits. So the insertion needs to be in the phalanges. And the action here is to plantar flex. It'll flex the toes, and it's also going to invert the foot. If we remove the gastrocnemius and the soleus, we expose deep muscles of the posterior leg. And from this view, we can see the flexor digitorum longus, so we get a sense of where we are using that muscle. We also have a few other muscles here that we're going to focus on. The first is the flexor hallucis longus. And this word halysis refers to the big toe. Recall from AV lecture 14, we had the pollux that referred to the thumb. The hallux is the big toe. So anytime you see hallux or halysis, you know that it's referring to the big toe or phalanx one. 
and the action of this muscle is going to flex the phalanx one or the hallux or big toe. We also have the tibialis posterior in this view and this can be sort of a tricky muscle. Don't focus on the popliteus that's that's uh, on the medial side of those veins there. We want to focus on the lateral side of those veins where the arrow is pointing. And this is a muscle we're responsible for origin insertion action and the origin is the proximal portion of tibia and fibula. The insertion is the metatarsals two through five and the action is to plantar flex the foot and inverts the foot. Now we're looking at the superficial muscles of the anterior leg and the first muscle indicated by the arrow there is our tibialis anterior and just like we predicted from that first slide there this is a muscle that's going to sit in front of or superficial or anterior to the tibia. This is a muscle responsible for origin insertion action. The origin is the lateral condyle and the proximal tibia. The insertion is the first metatarsal and also the medial cuneiform. And the action here is to dorsiflex and it will also invert the foot. The next muscle using the same view is indicated by that arrow there. And if we were to follow the tendon all the way down, we would see that the tendon is spreading out to the digits, to the toes. So what do you think that this muscle is going to be? And this is our extensor digitorum longus. The origin is the lateral condyle of the tibia and also the shaft of the fibula. The insertion is the middle and distal phalanges two through five, and the action is to extend the toes and also to dorsiflex the foot. Remember that dorsiflexion is pointing your toes up, pointing your toes superiorly. And the final muscle using this image is shown by the arrow there, and if we were to follow the tendon down, we would see that it would be going out to the hallux, or the phalanx one. And from this view, this muscle is going to be an extensor because it's on the anterior portion of the leg. And this is the extensor hallucis longus. The action of this muscle is to extend the hallux or the big toe and also to dorsiflex the foot. Now we're looking at superficial muscles of the lateral leg. And the first muscle is that top arrow, and that is the fibularis longus. Just as we predicted, this would be a muscle on the lateral side of the leg that is going to be superficial to the fibula. The origin of this muscle is the head and shaft of fibula, as well as the lateral condyle of the tibia. The insertion is the first metatarsal and also the medial cuneiform. Now this may seem kind of bizarre that this muscle is a lateral muscle and it's inserting on such medial um, insertion points on medial bones, the first metatarsal, medial cuneiform. But if we look at what the action is, it's going to plantar flex the foot, but it's also going to evert the foot. So the only way for this muscle to actually evert the foot being a lateral muscle, it must insert on these medial bones. And then finally the muscle um, indicated by that bottom arrow is the fibularis brevis. Recall that brevis means relatively shorter and so this is the the muscle that's on the fibula but it's the shorter of the two and the action is also to plantar flex the foot and evert the foot.